How to set up your email campaign. After you've tried the sample campaign and you now understand the working process of Feedback Central, you can create your own campaign. The completed campaign will be saved in the All Campaigns folder. There are two methods available to enable you to build your own campaign. Add Campaign. In each campaign folder, you will always find the Add Campaign button to build a campaign from scratch. Edit Campaign. Revise the existing campaign to build a new campaign. When you start editing a campaign, you will see that there are five steps involved when building or revising a campaign, no matter which method you choose. Step 1. Setup. You will need to enter a campaign name and campaign description. Please make sure you also set up your approved sender email. Please ensure the email address you enter is registered as an approved sender with Amazon. Otherwise, Amazon will block the email and the buyers will not receive it. Step 2. Template. There are several email templates and background themes to choose from for the new campaign. Templates. Choose the blank template to start from scratch or copy and paste a template that you already own. Otherwise, select the template that best suits your needs. The built-in templates are separated into feedback request and review request categories. There are four default templates for feedback request and five default templates for review requests. As for the language of the default templates, switch to different marketplaces. The default templates in local languages will be integrated. Themes. Pick the most suitable design for your email campaign. Saved template. You can choose from one of the templates that you have previously saved. Saved themes. Add theme allows the user to upload their own customized templates. Step three, content. The content is how we communicate and persuade buyers to leave feedback and reviews. Whether you decide to use your own template or select from one of our templates, there are some key tools under the content step that will help you to make your email campaign stand out. Email subject. Users can decide to draft an email subject themselves or use the AI-powered email subject to get an optimal subject automatically. Standard email subject. The order ID variable can be inserted into the email subject directly. If you would like to insert other variables into the subject, select a variable and insert it in the email content box and then copy the variable code and paste it into the subject line manually. Please note that only four variables are supported in the subject line. AI powered email subject. Users can select an email subject type that corresponds to the email content that they draft. The subject will be assigned when the system configures your selected orders, thus the result will be displayed in the email section, feedback central, then emails, then campaigns, then pending email or sent email. We provide five subject types to fulfill sellers needs, including review request, feedback request, helpful tips, customer satisfaction, and thank you. Review request, asking for the buyer's thoughts about the purchased product. Feedback request, asking for the buyer's thoughts about the shopping experience and seller's service. Helpful tips, providing useful information or user guides for the purchased products. The user shouldn't forget to include the related information in the email content if this subject type is selected. Customer satisfaction, follow up on customer orders, product issues, or actively provide customer service. Thank you. Simply thank your customers for their purchase. HTML editor. The HTML tool list has been upgraded and the tools are listed below. One, strike through. Two, paragraph format. Three, align, left, Center, Right, Justify. Four, Decrease Indent, Increase Indent. Five, Insert Image. 
If you'd like to upload an image via the insert image icon, here are the steps that you need to take. Step 1. Click the image upload icon. Step 2. An image properties pop-up appears. You will need to switch to the upload page first. Step 3. Upload an image and click the send it to the server button. After sending the file to the server successfully, users will then be led to the image info page. Step 4. At this step, you can decide on what text you like to show if the recipient sees a broken image in the email. You can also adjust the image size. Step 5. Switch to the link page to enter a URL and click OK. Skip this step if you just want to insert an image without attaching any hyperlinks. Step 6. An image hyperlink will be inserted into the email content. In addition to this method of insertion, there are two alternative methods to generate an image hyperlink. Method 1. Drag the image and insert the link. Step 1. Select an image and drag it into the email content box. The image will be uploaded automatically. Step 2. Click the Insert Link icon. Step 3. Input the tutorial link and click OK. Method 2. Use a picture capture tool to get an image and insert the link. Step 1. Select the image that you want with a picture capture tool. Step 2. Copy the selected image. Step 3. Paste the image into the email content box. The image will be uploaded automatically. Step 4. Click the Insert Link icon. Step 5. Input the tutorial link and click OK. Additionally, there are still some tools that you can use for editing an email campaign. 6. Insert horizontal line. 7. Insert link, remove link. 8. Undo, redo. 9. View HTML code. For advanced sellers who understand HTML coding, there is an option to add HTML tags supported by Amazon to generate diverse email content. To understand what the Amazon Buyer Seller Messaging Service guidelines are, the policy will be clearly stated directly under the email content box. Attachments. Popular attachments to send to buyers are often recipe books and user manuals please refer to the upload guidelines. 1. You will need to upload the file using the blue plus button to start. 2. Click on the attached file to insert the file into the email body. 3. The file name should show up as a variable. 4. Once the file is uploaded to the cloud base, it is not yet included in the template. Therefore, after you have uploaded the file, Please choose a position to insert the attachment variable. Only then will the file appear in the email. Please note that each account only has 50 megabytes of upload capacity, including the templates, attachments, and any other images you upload. Save as template. If you're happy with the email template that you've created, save it as a template for future use. Please click on the Save button Preview. You can preview the email before you move to the next stage by clicking the preview icon. Note 1. You can also preview the email content via the campaign list. Note 2. When buyers receive emails that include an image hyperlink, they will see the warning message as shown in the screenshot below after clicking the image or link in the email. Buyers will have to click the proceed button to be redirected to the destination. Sent test email. You can also send the test email from besides the preview email button. Step four, filters. There are many filters available to target more specific customers. Please remember to select the correct options after toggling one of the filters. The four filters 
are the basic options that many of our users decide to toggle on. You can also exclude orders that fit the filter description, but be aware that this only applies to refunds on FBA orders. Exclude orders fulfilled by Amazon or merchants. You can toggle on to exclude the orders fulfilled by merchants or Amazon. Exclude orders with an item condition of used or new. You can also specify which item condition you would like to exclude, if any. For example, if you choose to exclude used items, the system will not send out solicitation emails to your customers that purchased used items. Exclude or include repeat buyers. Toggling on the filter to exclude repeat buyers means that the system won't send emails to the buyers who bought the same product multiple times. Exclude or include orders with item promotions or ship promotions. Filters are created to avoid requesting product reviews on promotional orders to comply with Amazon's guidelines. Please be aware that if you turn on exclude orders with item promotion discount, emails will not be sent to buyers that have purchased discounted products. There are two filters that require extra authorization from your Seller Central account. For details, please refer to the Positive Feedback Integration Support article on our website. Step 5. Schedule. At this step, users can choose to send emails via the Standard Schedule or AI-powered Smart Schedule. Standard Schedule. There are three settings that you can set for your campaign schedule. Pending period of FBA orders. Note, the delivery option is only available for FBA orders. Pending period of FBM orders. Email delivery time, as soon as possible, or a fixed time for a specific time zone. AI-powered smart schedule. Switching to AI-powered smart schedule will help you arrange the optimal time and day to send the emails to your buyers. Finally, please don't forget to click the Save Campaign button when you're done. We hope that you've enjoyed our How to Set Up Your Email campaign. If you have any questions, please email us at support at becool.com. Thanks for watching.